Hey guys, welcome back. Today I want to get started on building a uh, electronics tray for under the seat pan. This is this is the beginning right here. All right, so what I have here is a uh, 20 gauge uh, sheet of metal left over from the scrap pile. I started with a template, just a cardboard cutout, which uh, on the bike is just the basic cutout of where I want the pan to fit under the bike. So what I did is I took this and I basically just laid it on top, did a trace from underneath, and it gave me this basic shape. The back of it ends just at the shock mount, so nothing is gonna be in behind here. And this is where I will do the rear of my seat mount. So that's the cutout there, I'm gonna lower it. Um, so it clears the bolts on the inside. Those are actually gonna be turned out, um, but in any case, I still want them to clear. And I'm gonna come down three inches. The reason for the three inch drop is basically, I'm still unclear on battery choices. I'd love to go for one of the little thin guys and, and do like a two inch or one and a half inch box or something like that. But with the older 70s bikes, there's still sort of the juries out as far as I can tell about recharging and frying the battery and everything else. So I'm gonna start by making a three inch deep box that'll basically be able to take any kind of battery. I'm still gonna do a sealed battery, but it'll, it'll be on its side but I, want, I don't want to be restricted. And so three inches buys me that luxury. I'm not gonna permanently mount the box because I do want to reserve uh, the option of building, cutting off the sides. If, if I build the box and basically have a front and a back mount that it sits on, I can always have the future option of slicing off the mounts, moving the box up, cutting the whole thing off an inch, and then and going with something else. And it doesn't really change anything except how much of the box you see on the side. So that's what I'm going with. So I've got that cut out. I've transferred it over to my sheet. So if you if sort of lay that on top there, that's roughly, I don't know if you can see, I'm using a red marker, so it might be hard to see. That's the nicely measured out one there. And I've just given myself three inches all the way around. The front I'm not going to seal in because I want the wires to be able to come right out from under the tank and have the wiring go straight into the box. The back I will, because you will, you will see it from the back of the bike. But the sides, I'm gonna actually come a little bit more forward. Uh, if you look at this, when my side comes in, I'm actually gonna do something like that and extend it. So when you look at it from the side, uh, you won't sort of see the opening and the wires can sort of come in there if you follow. So uh, let's get that cut out. I'm going to score my bend lines with the angle grinder. I don't have a bender or anything. And then uh, get these bent up into relative shape and see how they fit in the bike. And then uh, adjust from there. Here's the box uh, in place and it fits perfectly. 
I'm going to, well, one thing I'm going to do is, so my overlap, you can see, runs into the frame, which is exactly what I wanted. So now my wires can come in here, access right in there beautifully, uh, and you won't see anything at the top. If I need anything to come up and underneath, it can follow the backbone here and slide in. Some of the, some of the engine stuff is gonna have to do that. This extension piece, the top, uh, is perfect where it is. I'm just gonna cut this little corner off here just so it, uh, and probably bend it in just a little bit just so that it hides it, but it's all gonna go black. It's all beautiful. In fact, I'm so happy with it and it's so snug of a fit that I'm not, I'm gonna go back on what I said I was gonna do before and I'm actually gonna permanently weld it in place. Um, I think, you know, there's an inch here, there's two inches down here. I think the profile is lovely. It comes up exactly at the back where uh, it's supposed to. The view from behind is great. I could even use that surface if I really wanted to for uh, like a hidden tail light or anything like that. If I want to go that route and, and put my license plate elsewhere, uh, I'm totally happy with it. So basically what I'm gonna do is is tack around the edges and then just sort of hammer over the metal to, to sort of meet up and then just tack weld it around and that's gonna be as much as I get to put it in place. For, first thing, the, uh, the four exposed edges, I'm gonna weld up, clean up, and uh, call it a day. I'm gonna, I'm also going to, there's a lot of surface rust on this, so I'm gonna hit it with the wire wheel and just get it all cleaned up and then I can start to get everything uh, in primer. Excellent. And there it is guys, all tacked in place. It's good and it's solid, it's even all the way around. It's great, I'm, I'm, I'm really happy about that. So that's the electronics tray. All I have left uh, to mock up is the mounts, the front and back mounts for the seat. And then I can start to get this primed and repainted. Once I have that stuff done, then I can start in on getting this thing rewired and hopefully get it started sometime soon. If you like this, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you want to see more, please subscribe and we'll talk to you later, guys. Cheers.